Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hardwood, Vermont. Hazen Union Wildcat Boys Varsity kicking off their season today against the BFA Fairfax Bullets. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 and streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim Kelty on camera today. We've got a great day for soccer. A little bit of wind, a little bit of humidity. We're going to hope that the front that is slowly moving our way kind of slows down and stalls. We don't get any rain or thunder. Sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics. And Caldwell Insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. Give Mike Gothier a call. He will find a policy for everything and anything that you need insurance on. And if you... Uh, Want to do any type of outdoor activities? Buffalo Mountain Power Sports is the place to go. <laughs> Officials for today: Tommy Stames and Kevin Gillen. Like Teams out on the field. We're going to have the opening tip moments away, and we're going to play some soccer here today at one of the finest soccer fields I feel in the state of Vermont. I might be biased, but just a beautiful setup here at Hudson Fields. Home over. <laughs> I do not believe BFA has played a game yet. I tried to find their record. I couldn't. I know this is our home opener. Mixture of uh, freshmen, juniors, sophomores, and seniors. Well balanced act here. Crank things up and let the boys do what they do and see what happens. New coach this year for the Varsity Boys, Allison Parody, taking over the reins. Talon Bryant stepped aside. Gonna have to match up names and numbers and players here now. I'll try and do this as quickly as I can. And Cody Trudeau, number seven over there. And I believe that is uh, Liam Birkowitz. Throw in Hazen. Hazen will rethrow. That's Gabe Mitchett, a sophomore, for the Cats with the throw in. Cats advancing the ball down. Throw in. Looking inside. Going to get a shot off. Goes wide. That was Tyson Davison. Off the throw in. A little bit of a bounce. Had a shot at it. If my roster's correct, that is a junior keeper for the Bullets, Chris Dukeshire, on the save. We're actually putting the ball back into play after the shot wide. It was Jackson Wamet on the inbounds. Ball controlled up. Braden Matthew inside. Fairfax player goes down, back up. Fairfax faithful won a whistle, didn't get it. Now a Hazen player goes down and we get a whistle. Davis draws the whistle. Lincoln Mitchett with on the kick. High kick into the wind, ball holds up just a little bit, headed down by the bullets. Right now, as the wind is blowing, it's in the bullet's favor. Come on, Reese! Far side. Skirmish over there. Out of bounds. Throw in. Bullets. Bullets, of course, dressed in white. Hazen in the red. Bullets throwing in quickly, trying to catch the Hazen defense up. Coming across. Matt Spiller puts the shot on. <laughs> Guessing from his size and stature, that is Elliot Rosenthal in goal for the Wildcats. Yeah. 
Three minutes into the opening game. Come on, Charles! Back and forth action so far. Big kick up, looking for Davison ahead. Turnaround, Fairfax defense right there. Rowan Alby looking to clear. Ball back, looking ahead. There's Davison trying to make a move, can't get there. Luca Scheer. Throw in Katz, nice throw in. Looking to get the header. It's Cody Trudeau. Fairfax with the goal kick. High kick. Wind carries it down. Headed back up. That's Mitchin. Fairfax on the advance. Defense looking to make the stop. Fairfax. Looking to advance past midfield, they do. Shot on, save for Rosenthal. High kick. Nice job, Luca. Step white, step white. Pressure. Volleying back and forth. Fairfax player goes down. Field might be a little slick. Walked across center field to get the lineups. Wasn't horrible out there, but a little bit of moisture here and there. Ball bounce back up, Fairfax. Defense back. Dan DeGrosselier gets it up to Davison. Davison chipping ahead. Reed Keeler couldn't quite come down with that one. I'll tell you, between Tyson, Reed, and Cody Trudeau, we've got some serious quickness up front this year. It's going to be exciting to watch those three burners go. Throw in Hazen. Fairfax on the throw in, ball high. Looking to settle down. A little bit of rubbing over there, Gabe Mitchett. And Luca Chair. Come on, Isaiah. Here's Fairfax. Looking to test Rosenthal. Fairfax keeps it in. Going to have an opportunity here to at least get a shot on. Scoop save from Rosenthal. Wyatt Magnet getting a foot on it for Fairfax. Fairfax with the free kick. Fairfax, turn, shot, high. So that ball skidded over everybody. That was Braden Matthew. A 
Rosenthal with the goal kick. If anyone has watched the games that I call in the past, you know that I consider the goal kick to be the most boring play in soccer. Whereas the corner kick, I think is the most exciting play in all of soccer. So if my enthusiasm, enthusiasm wanes on the goal kicks, I'll try and make up for you when we get some corners. We have yet to have a corner in this game, I think. Step to him, Jay. He's going with him. It's okay. Chair, moving up, goes across the front. There to intercept Lincoln Mitchell. Nice block by Isaiah Burns. Turn, Luca looking back. Rowan Alby up in front. On a throw in, Isaiah Burns. Center of the field, kick back. Chair, Burns here on the near side. Looks for the middle. Come on, who's there? Breaking that up. I got to get a number before I can say who broke that up. Uh, Riker Willette. On the break up on that one. Riker, a senior this year. Riker with the greatest soccer name of all time. Riker Willette. Down in the corner here. Strong on full. That one gets around. Shot on. Save Rosenthal. Fairfax with some quickness up front as well. This guy's uh, nice ball handling skills. Quick feet. Settle nicely. They got some decent passes. They've kind of. Call it, boy. Turned it around on our defense a couple of times. Here's Rosenthal out to make the save. Scary. That was a cheek clencher right there. As Reese Decker almost had a foot on that. High, booming punt. Chased down by uh, Alby. Far side. Kick in the middle, looking for Keeler. Keeler can't get there. Back out. Far side. Fairfax. Once again, they've got some speed up front. Willette chasing down. Nice settle, nice move. Shot on. Nice move over there. If that's the, a number 11 that I'm seeing, that's Matt Spiller. I'm hoping I've got his name and his number right. Nice move, nice speed. The fake out Riker Willette over there. And Riker's a veteran on defense. Give a chase up ahead. Jaden Baker. Chipping that one up over the end line. Davison, is he going to keep it in? Baker on the throw. Looking inside, they got Mitchett right in the middle. He's tall, he's range, he gets the head on it. Nice setup there, like I called. Get that tall, rangy. Lincoln Mitchell in there, they can get ahead on that. That ball almost skittered in. Nice save by Chris Dukeshire, the junior for Fairfax. <laughs> Opening game for the, uh, basically uh, the girls have played a couple of games away. So this is the first home action that we have seen here on Hudson Fields. We got uh, three home games next week. A couple more on the road games for both teams this week. But uh, three homers. I think we got a. Uh, I know we got one girls, and I can't remember if it's two boys or two girls and one boys. But anyway, we got three home games. Push, Reggie, push. The girls are up ahead. Cleared out with authority by Rowan Alby. Rosenthal. Go, Chris! Nice boot up ahead. Save. Very good ball. Elliot, of course, the younger brother of Julius the Wall Rosenthal who was a fantastic defensive player for the Wildcats. So I guess it's only natural that we have uh, Elliott back at goal. 
certainly in defense as well. Julius was a lot of fun to watch. All over the field. And he was a wall of defense. Trudeau caught flat-footed over there on the far side. Rolette goes up and goes down. Riker Willette. I think he could have took one, that one off the front of the cranium. And that'll sting. Clock stops with 26.37 left to go in the first half. No score. A um, couple of, uh, we'll call them haphazard scoring opportunities. Um, Lincoln had a nice one on that throw in off of Tyson. And uh, Elliott's been tested, you know, semi down here. Uh, once again, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable now, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics for all of your outdoor needs, and they've got one heck of a lot. They used to. I hope, I hope they still do. I'm going to have to check in. Uh, they sold that Dixie Chopper lawnmower. Amazing lawnmower. And call the word insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Give Mike a call. He will insure anything and everything that you need insurance on. Jim Kelty on camera. Griff and Liz are busy. Leaf unavailable, so Jim coming in here today. Supplying you with the pictures. Well, that's still down. you got to be careful with a head injury. They don't want to move them too quick or anything like that. Concussion, <laughs> concussion protocol and everything else will probably come to play as the Hazen Athletic Director, John Sperry, takes a walk out. Rosenthal. I mean, uh, that's Riker Willette, not Rosenthal. Riker Willette. Riker Willette, a senior defensive player for the Hazen Wildcats. Officials once again, Tommy Sames, Kevin Gillen. Kevin Gillen wearing the hat. Tommy Sames not. As the wind is picking up and the clouds are moving in. We'll wait for that first clap of thunder. <laughs> As we wait. Uh, Hoping that Riker's okay. Back up to one knee. Nice crowd out here today for the game. Well, that's back up. Off the field under his own power. Good to see. Thank <laughs> you. 
It'll be a Fairfax Bullets free kick now that we will resume play. Once again, 26-37 left to go in the first half. No score. Let able to stand and leave the field under his own power after he uh, went up with a player. I don't know. He might have collided heads with the, with the Fairfax player, but it sounded like the ball went off his head. Uh, see what happens here after this stoppage. Everybody kind of getting back into things here. Rosenthal. Low punt. Looks up ahead, Tyson Davison. Reed Keeler. Fairfax player goes down. Luca Shear goes down. Punt. Skitters up through. Corralling that one down as uh, Lincoln Mitchell. Up ahead, Keeler. Chair on him. Chair was shadowing him all the way. Not going to give him anything easy back there. Mitchett comes up to challenge Isaiah Burns. Gets a foot in there. Back. Fire side. That was James Benjamin getting a foot on it. He's keeping it in though. Mitchett, high kick, spinner. Davison looking to settle. Brings it back in the middle, and Keeler was there, but so was the defense. Excuse me, that's Gabe Mitchett. Am I seeing a 13? Okay, 13 is Gabe Mitchett. I'm sorry, I got my wrong Mitchett there. One of two Mitchets on the field. Gabe, the sophomore, Lincoln, the junior. Try and stand out. There is Lincoln Mitchett getting a foot on it. And Gabe Mitchett getting it over here. Sun has settled down. Jaden Baker goes back. Lincoln. Foot. Fairfax back. I think he would have been off sides. Lincoln looks ahead. Turns. Knocked down nicely. By Jackson Lamette. Middle field. The only place you want that ball to stick around long out there. Going up ahead, Reed Keeler looking to put his speed, but right back there with him was Luca Shea, the junior defensive. Jaden Baker on the throw in. Uh, no, he's going to give it up to Gabe Mitchell. Gabe, throw in. Bounces over. Davison couldn't quite get the foot on it. A couple of defensive players right there. Braden Matthew with a tiny bit of an elbow there in the back. Got caught. Tommy Stame standing right there. He's a veteran. A lot of talking going on out here. Let's see what they're going to set up with. Mitchett looking over the far side. Had Trudeau streaking in there. Couldn't quite get to it, though. Nice plan. Got it just up over the wall of defense. Trudeau had his break on the ball, but he couldn't quite come down with it. Back to take the goal kick for Fairfax. Spinner up to the middle, goes over. Defense there. Gabe gets it up to Reed. Reed Keeler looking to turn. Aiden Neal getting in on the action there for a moment for the Cats. Trying to make something happen. Matthew. Shot on, Rosenthal down. Braden Matthew, the, the uh, junior forward. Keeler over to Davison. Davison, a little bit of room here. Working against Rowan Elby. Gets it back, Aiden Neal. 
brought down. Isaiah Burns brings it up, goes over, nice ball to the corner. Rosenthal on his horse, gets the kick, it's gonna go out of bounds, no, it's gonna stay inbounds, I thought it was headed out. Dukeshire with the scoop and the punt. High punt over to this side. Going to be tough to keep that one inbounds, and it's not. He's a ball. Throw in. Mitch it. Keeler. Davison chipped out by Alby. Davison on the throw-in. We've seen Hazen create opportunities off these throw-ins down here in this near corner. See what they can do. Misplay. Ooh. Misplay by the defensive man, Trudeau. Couldn't quite get there. He had that was behind the keeper. Dukeshire wouldn't have had a chance at that one if uh, Trudeau could have got there on that one. I don't think he was expecting the defensive player to miss it. Ball on the far side. Chase down Xavier Hill over there, the X-Man. Half about halfway through, still no score. Fairfax looking to make something happen. Action's been up in their end of the field quite a bit. Advanced it down here, but uh, his defense has been fairly stout so far today. Reese Decker trying to get it over there in the far corner. Back out to midfield now. And we got another number 20, and they're saying Chris Dukeshire, so it might be Brandon Gillian who is in. Okay, now I can see the number. All right, I stand corrected on all the saves and punts and stuff that I have been calling uh, Dukeshire doing back there and go for the Fairfax Public. It's actually Brandon Gillian. My apologies to Brandon on that. He's a sophomore back there, and Dukeshire is out on the field. He is the junior. Like Yogi Berra says, you can learn a lot by listening. You hear people call names, all of a sudden you can kind of figure things out. So once again, it is Brandon Gillian, a sophomore keeper in goal for the Fairfax Bullets. I hear him calling a Reggie, but I don't see a Reggie here on my roster, so that must be a, I'm going to assume that's a nickname. Kareen's into the bench area. White throw. Fairfax will throw it again. Boy, it didn't look like he had his feet planted. What they let go away for throw-ins nowadays just astounds me from the days when I was watching soccer. I never played in high school, but watched a lot of it. 
Boy, you got to have your. Yeah, it can be. They have that foot drag in. There, there could be no spin on the ball. Your arms have to come straight up over your head. I mean, they basically throw this thing in with a chest pass now and get away with it. I don't quite understand, but. be ready! I guess the times, they are changing. Free kick for the Bullets. Be moving, be Got a moving, bunch of players going. down here in goal. Let's see if something happens. Gabe Mitchett at least gets it over here to the far side of the field, back towards the sideline, away from the middle. Back in, ooh, up and underneath was Mitchett. He missed that one. I believe we got an offsides call. <laughs> Referee Tom Sames right there to make the call. Mitchett. Bigfoot up here. Center field, Davison. Davison looking for Keeler. They have not given Keeler anything back there to do. Luca Chair has been all over him. Turn, that's Fenton Meyer that got that out of there. Far side, Cody Trudeau. Fairfax looking to make something happen. Nobody there on this near side of the field, but given chase, nice effort there was Reese Decker. Fairfax faithful wanted to push. I think they got it. A little bit of a late whistle. Luca Chair. On the kick. That Isaiah Burns in the middle. Burns. Working against Gabe Mitchin. Here's Chair. Put your shot on goal from way outside. That's high. Goal kick. Let's keep it down there, Roy. Come on. Come on, White. Move to the ball. Play it, play it. Come on, boys. All there. Come on, Come on, Jay. You guys are standing. Stop playing with you. I'm behind it. I'm behind you. Burns. Working against Mitchett. Mitchett not letting him have anything. Gets the whistle. Mitchett, kick. There's the turn. There's the ball squirting down. Save. Nice deflection there. Another shot. High. Nice deflection by Brandon Gillian to make the save on that shot. Then the second shot goes high, but that's about the best scoring opportunity we've seen in this game so far for either team, really. Gillian, beautiful play back there to keep that goal from going in. And see who got the shot off. There's a bunch of players in there. But, uh, nice shot, nice save. The clock continues to tick. 12.55 left to go in this scoreless first half. This is the one they're calling a Reggie, trying to get a number here. On, on my roster, number 13 is Reese Decker. But if the crowd has called him Reggie, I'm going to call him Reggie. You got to go with that. Fairfax going to line up for the kick. Oh, 
Is it going to be Burns or Shea are going to take it? Luca keeps it on the ground. And players collide, and we've got, oh, Reggie's down. I think that's Reggie. Oh, now they call him Reese. Reggie must be a nickname for Reese. And Lincoln Mitchett draws the yellow card on that one. Lincoln plays strong, plays aggressive. He's a big, rangy, strong kid. And, uh, you know, just going for the ball for him. For one of him is equal to like two of anybody else. Uh, there was a collision out there. They thought there was a little bit of excessive force that Mr. Mitch had used, so he drew a yellow card. Yes, he did. He has to go off the field for a short period of time. Um, and then he comes back. Um, you know what? I wish Harry was over here. I'm not sure if we play a man down or if they can sub in. I think it's on the red card they play a man down. So I think with the yellow, we get to bring somebody in. But I'm going to get Harry over here and chat with him about this. Lucky it didn't happen in the penalty box. We would be looking at a PK. I believe it's going to be direct. the whistle on the kick and the save by Elliot Rosenthal Fairfax though steals that one back looking to make something happen here off the save Hazen kind of uh, being unaggressive there with Rosenthal's throw nice block Trudeau to back. Gabe Mitch it up. Tyson Davidson here in the near corner. That'll be on Davidson looking inside. Goes across. Save. Brandon Gillian. Got to give him credit because I called the wrong name for most of the first half of the first half here. Gillian, big punch up. Ball bounces over. That is Dukeshire, Chris Dukeshire. He's not in goal. He's out on the field, number 20. Burns inside. Nice block out. And another Fairfax player is down. I think he's more upset than anything else. Some hey, pound of fists on the ground. Are you watching the same game? I don't know. He even stopped because he, 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 he knew he could. He even stopped. Let's see what happens. Go for the ball, Rex. That is uh, Braden Matthew that went down and is back up. Appears to be somewhat okay. A little bit of a limp there. Come on, ref, watch the arm. Tommy Steams, Kevin Gillian are our referees. I tell you what, I'm not going to put on a yellow jersey and go down there and try and rough again. No way. 
No help. Nine fifty one left to go in a fairly slow moving first half here with no score. That was a little bit of a drop kick right there. That, uh, Fairfax is getting to put the ball back into play. Ball over here in the near corner. Big time kick. I think we may have swapped keepers too. I think that's Elliot out on the in the field now. So who would be back there for a keeper? I have no idea. Because I have Elliot as number two. I'm very confused. Our other goalie is Tyler Revar, so could be Tyler. I hope I haven't been calling Elliot all day when it's been Tyler back there. But that's what I'm going to go with. I can see Elliot out on the field, so I guess it's Tyler Reber in goal. Subs come in. Trudeau gets past one defender, gets it over here to Davison. Davison trying to trap down, but. Reese Decker right there. Max Clark trying to turn and get a shot. Goes down. Are we going to have a call? Should have a penalty kick, I would believe. Come on, Luca! Luca Chair. Gonna take the penalty kick. And once again, as I'm looking at our roster, Be ready, Mike. Be ready. I am assuming this is Tyler Revard goal. Because I see Elliot out on the field. At least the number two that I have on my roster. Chair. Shot. Goal. And that will put the Fairfax Bullets on the board. Up one zip on the PK off of the call down in the box. Seven ten left to go here in the first half. First score of the game. See if Hazen can answer back now, get a quick goal. See what happens sometimes. The best way to answer a goal is with a goal. Or if the Billets build momentum off it. Oh no. In the next six minutes and 50 seconds. Zappal goes down to West Church Street. Ball boy's gonna have a hike on that one. Throw in. Trap down. Goal 
kick for the Bullets. Bullets control. Player goes down, no whistle. Well, the whistle, Randy! Mac Lamphere imploring the officials to blow the whistle. Here's a golden opportunity for Fairfax. As we met. Almost had like an open shot there for a moment. We met calling for it. He's over here on the far side. Going up to shadow him now is Gavin Stratton. We met was wide open over here on the near side. A little bit of rubbing going out there. Rubbing's racing. As Coach Harris told us, you can go shoulder to shoulder. Revard with the kick. Nice misdirect by the Bullets. Defense there. Davison. Just looking to make something happen. Far side of the field, he was looking for Jaden Baker. Baker trying to advance up. Inside. Shot just high. Just high on that one. That was Max Fortman. That was number one that I'm seeing over there. With a shot that almost went high and dropped down over Gillian's head for a goal, but instead went up over the goal. And I believe that is Keeler down. Where's the Tyson? Tyson Davidson. Yeah. Tyson. Clock continues to tick, 3.25, a lot of time. Davison, shot in down and rolls wide. Fairfax, goal kick. Right here on the near side. He's in defense up. And Mitch has got to get a call for that one. Lincoln once again. Max Clark going for the ball. Lincoln stuck a leg in there. Get the whistle. Share with the kick. Luca. Watch out here, Rod. Keep moving, Mike. Keep moving. Fire side of the field drops over everybody. He's going to attempt to clear this out. Bullets attempting to keep it in. Trudeau. Looking ahead. Decker with him over there. Davison can't get that one to go. A lot of time, a lot of time taking off here. Guys, shit. 
The Fairfax Bullets leading 1-0 off the penalty kick. Mitch is bringing that one down. No one there up on the offense, though. Back. Under one minute to play. And once again, in a very slow moving first half, we had a couple of timeouts for injuries and all kinds of stuff happening. And I'll tell you what, if the referees blew the whistle as much as either one of these crowds wanted it to, we'd probably be about halfway through, maybe. So. Good to see him not quite sharing the enthusiasm that both the home and the away crowd has for the whistle. Big kick up, nine seconds. Gonna have to turn quick. I don't think it's gonna happen. And that is gonna end the first half with the BFA Fairfax Bullets leading 1-0 on a penalty kick that Luca Chair put in against uh, Tyler Rebart. I believe that's Tyler back there. And uh, that's going to make it one zip at the end of the first half here at the home opener for Hazen Union Soccer, basically. The girls have been on the road. The boys, their home opener today. The girls will get their home opener next week. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsor, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics. And call the wooden shorts, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. Jim Kelty on camera. We'll see you back here at the start of the second half. All right, we've got uh, about a minute before we kick off the second half. We are once again BFA Fairfax Bullets up one zip off a of PK in the Hazen Boys Varsity home opener. Lance Hall with the call, and I stand corrected on a bunch of mistakes I made in the first half. Coach Harry over here with us, Harry Bissett, uh, the Hazen Girls Varsity coach, and I have talked all the first half about you're going to have your home opener next week, but you've already had your home opener. It was Labor Day weekend. Lost a tough one to Oxbow here at home, and you lost another tough one to Blue Mountain. Uh, recently in overtime and now you will play your second home game this coming next week Monday Monday yeah. Yeah. okay so you've got uh, you've had a, a little bit of a tough start but you're saying the team is gelling well and you should be uh, should be set once everybody gets their feet on but Harry I wanted to just apologize for the glaring see Labor Day weekend I was working so I wasn't here for the home game I would have liked to have been so my apologies to you and the girls for all of the plethora of mistakes that I made in the first half. Because I mentioned it like five times. We'll give you a second chance. Ladies. I appreciate that, Harry. And apologize to the girls for it. And we will try to put a good show on for you next Monday against People's Academy. Big rival match there. How are they looking this year? Have you had a chance to scout them at all? I have not. Okay. All right. Well, after we get through Fairfax, I'll focus on the Anytime he's and a PA gets together, throw the records out anyway. That's a crunch match. So good luck to you against uh, these Fairfax Bullets lady team up there this week. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. All right. Take care, Harry. And we look forward to getting Harry back here on commentary to help cover all the mistakes I've made throughout the first half. Anyway, I mean, I've had goalies wrong. I've had players wrong. We've had everything wrong. This should be like a preseason game for me or something. i got to come up here like during a scrimmage and just get my soccer legs back under me to do this. But uh, let's get our sponsors here, though. And when you, when you go back by, if you could ask Joe Revert to come up and s with me just briefly. If he would, but you don't have to do it now. You can sit there and rest if you want. I'm going to play soccer. Okay. If you could come up and just see me briefly. Yep. Uh, once again, this is Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim Kelty on camera. Our sponsors today, call the insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. And Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics. And uh, we're getting set for the opening second half tip here. And I'm gonna have, this is something I've never had the opportunity really to do, is to have a sponsor come up live with us. Joe, tell us a little bit about, lean in right in here, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, all that you guys do down there. Oh, I should let the boss over here. I didn't know you did that. <laughs> we are a full service Articat uh, dealer. We service all makes and models. We even sell the best, which is Articat. And uh, yes, we get all your dirt, 
vehicles and your purchase movies. Do you still sell that Dixie Chopper? Well, we do not. Dixie you don't. Chopper, um, they uh, actually went out of business um, in Indiana probably three years ago. They still have some parts, so if you have one, we can still service them. But they're no longer a Dixie dealer. Oh, okay, so I stand corrected on that. So the full service of Articat, snowmobiles, and uh, all kinds of all-terrain vehicles as well. And I'm assuming you service what you sell. Yes, absolutely. We just took, we just took a uh, small snapper line, which has zero turns as well, but they do the, the, the smaller stuff, the battery up, and the trimmers, and the stuff, too. We just got that late last fall. Excellent. Thank you, Joe. All right. Good game. Go. <laughs> Joe Revard here of Buffalo Mountain Power Sports. And they can get the lowdown on exactly what Buffalo Mountain Power Sports has to offer in addition to their sponsorship. They sponsor a lot of Hazen Athletics up here. So we want to thank them along with Calderwood Insurance. Maybe we'll get Mike Gothier up here sometime. We'll talk insurance. Cats will shoot on this end of the field now. as the teams have swapped sides here for the second half. How are you doing? Fairfax with the goal kick. Kick up, taken down. Not gonna get the turn. Nick Badger, I believe I've called his name. He must have been on the opposite side of the field before. Jaden Baker looking to get the cross. Out of bounds. And now we get, in this announcer's estimation, the most exciting play in all of soccer. The corner kick. As you know from past experience, this end of the field kind of dips down a little bit. See, almost kicking uphill here. Inside, looking to get the football, squirts around, was there nobody for the Cats could get the foot on it. Fairfax playing footsie with fate here, that ball in the middle. Hey, and there's Riker Willette. Back out on the field. Riker was down for a long time in the first half. Off, uh, what looked to me was like he went to head the ball. I don't know if he bumped heads with the player or if he bumped heads exceptionally hard with the ball, but he was down for a long, long time. So good to see him back up. Must have cleared the concussion protocol. Not afraid to use it right there. Pitch it up ahead, Baker turns, got Trudeau in the middle, far side. He was looking on the far side for Tyson Davis and couldn't quite get it there. Here is, that is, yes, that is Elliot Rosenthal. So I'm gonna assume it's Tyler and Go. Because he is the only other one listed for goalie on my sheet. Ball high inside. Rosenthal lets it go. He's going to throw in. Elliot Rosenthal. Throw in. Bullets. Rosenthal with the header down, fighting his way up through. Mitch it, looking to settle, gets it up. Keeler, Reed Keeler, can't get it over. He's looking on the far side for Davison once again. Fairfax. 1-0 lead for the Bullets, courtesy of the PK. Done by Luca Chair.
Throw in, Katz. Ouch. Face, taking it in the face by Isaiah Burns. That'll leave a mark. Bullets looking to advance. Couldn't get it there. Gabe Mitchett trying to settle down. We're going to get a call. Call goes against Hazen. Oh, I was saying, I, I thought the call would go for Hazen the way that the two Bullets players were kind of draped over him over there, but uh, you never know. It's. Uh, Referees have a lot better vantage point where they are right there on the field than we do up here. Well, this isn't bad. Chip high. Little high. I think the only real solid shot, other than the PK, that either team has put on goal was the one back here in the first half where uh, Gillian made a nice deflection save, kind of stretched out in midair and made a save. And real nice job there. Other than that, you know, spent a lot of scoop saves, nothing overly dramatic for either goalie. Defenses have both played well. One yellow card on us, on uh, Lincoln Mitchell. A little zealous in his defense. Nice move there, shot in, curler, save. It was Reese Decker launching that shot, had a nice curl on it. Trudeau, defense right there with him. Over here on the near side, the X-Man, Xavier Hill. We can move it inside. Nice give and go right there. X-Man shot on, just high. Just high. Beautiful passing between uh, Jaden Baker and the X-Man to get that shot off though. Just a little bit high. I thought that was gonna drift over the goalie's head. Goal kick for the Bullets. That one hangs up. The Cats with the wind advantage right now with the way it's blowing. Over there on the far side, there's Davison trying to get ahead on it. Can't do it. There to clear it out. He's the Bullets player whose number I can't see. I believe, oh, okay, Luca Chair on the defense over there on the far side. Throw in James Benjamin. Decker gets it inside. Baker can't get the foot on an X-Man playing against Nick Badger. Badger's future so bright he's got to wear shades. Either that or he's a ZZ Top fan. Throw in X Man. Back out Baker. They're going to call Baker. Offside. Kevin Gillen standing right there. Come on, 
Plays it back to the keeper. Can't say as I've ever seen that before. A little unorthodox. Let's see what happens. Baker up ahead, shot on, tough angle. Oh, Davidson trying to get in there. If he could have got a foot on that, we'd have had a goal. Tyson claps his hands. He knows he had one. Step closer, he would have been there. Cats with a couple of decent scoring opportunities here. Just can't quite get the foot on it that they need. Bullets, goal kick. Lincoln Mitch it up to put the head on that. Baker, looking ahead, he's got Davison over there in the corner. Played out nicely by James Benjamin. Keeler on the throw in. Cody Trudeau trying to settle. Cody trying to make a move here. And he got the feet tangled. Reese Decker and Cody Trudeau go down. Decker took a hard foul. Looked like they were both kind of going for the ball. I don't know. Fairfax faithful want to call, but let's say incidental, they got their feet tangled up. I didn't see anything malicious. Come on, Russ, get a hold of the damn game! Myself. I don't see a yellow card or anything being pulled out. Clock stopped with 28-20 left to go here in the game as Decker's up. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable channel streaming worldwide and archive at www.hctv.us. Sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics. Thanks again to Joe Revard coming up. Let us know just what they do down there. And call the wood insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. Give Mike Gothier a call. If you need insurance on anything, he will have a policy for it, all at a fantastic rate. Bullets with the kick. Jim Kelty on camera today. Reese and Griff and Leaf are parts unknown. And there's a shot in the back. And that will draw a yellow card. As that was a blatant forearm shiver to the back. And Wyatt, Wyatt Magnum draws the yellow card. He must be the the Dave Schultz of the Bullets roster, you know, their enforcer out there. Baker taking the kick. Tyler Reaver way up out of goal. It trots back. Get some words of encouragement for Baker. remaining. Max, Max, 
Looking for to get this clock rolling again. Baker shot on, knocked down Gilliam. Once again, I'm assuming that's Brandon Gillian in goal. Throw in Hayes in far side. Come on, Charles, don't back up. Come on, Nick. Don't back up. Go, oh, Nick, there you go. Nick Badger. One goes out of bounds. Throw in Riker Willets. Looks up ahead. Fairfax defense. Fairly unforgiving. Doug DeGrosier, far side, working with Chris Dukeshire. Tyson, turn. Kenny Byrne. Reed had it for a moment. Willette. Jake Baker gives chase, trying to keep that one in. Shot back, save. Cody Trudeau was right there, trying to get a body on it. Another nice save by the Bullets keeper, who we're assuming is Brandon Gillian. I'd say Gillian's definitely been tested a little more than Tyler. Rosenthal going to be called. Got a little bit of a two-hand shove in there. On Max Clark. 26 minutes left to go in the game as the clouds start to build in now. Hoping to get all of this one in. Burns with the kick, high. Rebar camps under it. Big time punts. That will leave a mark. Rowan Alby. Putting his entire head into that one. Mitchett screens off Max Clark. I think that's Max Clark, is it? No. Is it? Can't recognize him. He's got his shades off now. Dan the girls here on the far side getting a foot on that, trying to keep it in. <laughs> Trudeau sandwich between a couple of bullets players. No, that's not Trudeau, that's uh, Gavin Stratton. Sandwich between a couple of players over there. Draws the whistle. Up to take the kick. It's going to be Lincoln Mitchell taking this one. Wind at his back, putting it down wide. 24 minutes left to go here in the game. Cats with some opportunities. Can't quite cut into this Bullets 1 0 lead right now off the Luca Chair PK in the first half. Good job, Isaiah. Go, 
Throw in Fairfax. That is Max Clark. Willette. Throw in. Benjamin there to clear it out. Fairfax players down now. Ball high, knocked down. Mitchell, Gabe, Mitchell looking across. He's got Tyson, Tyson there. Shot, go! Nice play. Mitchell saw Tyson over there on the far side. We got a tie ball game as Tyson Davison beats Gillian. And a nice low shot, as Coach Harry likes to say, shoot it low. And we've got a tie game 1-1 one, one now with 22-21 left to go in the game. Tyson Davis off the assist. I believe that was Gabe Mitchell. Cats had been in the hunt back there for a long time, so it was good to see him put one by, settle it down. It felt like it could be just a matter of time. See if the Cats can gain a little momentum, maybe put another one in, or see if the Bullets answer back now. Mono a mono here. Ouellette well, gets that one up ahead. Baker trying to settle. Gets it up by, ball there. Riker drops back. Thought Riker would strike up there. Riker the striker. Cats defense caught up. Big kick by Rivard. The X-Man here on the near side. Oh, there, there's the Shades guy, Nick Badger, number 17. Right? I had him and Max screwed up. 17 is Nick Badger, whose future's so bright, he's got to wear shades. Nice move. Burns still in there. Mitchell goes in. Lincoln Mitchell steals that one away. Hayes defense tested now as the Bullets are trying to create a little offense here, but the defense, Cats defense stepping up as well. Dan DeGrosier over there. Jade Baker having fun with the ball boy down there. Come on, Whitehart, 
Get the ball! Baker, throw. Trudeau gets it across. Ball still loose, Gillian down. Come out, couldn't quite get the handle on it. Oh, wow. Bullets coached by Jake Hubbard, and once again, uh, first year coach Allison Parody coaching your Hayes and Union Wildcat boys. Seventeen forty-five left to go here in the game. That kick is going to go on the far side and stay inbound so far. Still inbounds. Well, that's soft touch. Well, that's harder touch. See. Here's a high punt. Max trying to get the head on it, couldn't. Fenton Meyer back on defense. Swillette throw. Albi with the head on that one. Cross field. Here's Keeler. Keeler trying to make a move, can't get there. I saw the number right. If that's the number eight over that's Charles Gallant playing him tough. If that's the number eight that I am seeing, I can't tell. It's kind of hard to tell from over here, but anyways. Cody Trudeau working against Albie. Albie's been a wall of defense. Shot on! Goal! Reed Keeler puts the Cats up 2-1. Cats up 2-1 now. They've been hanging tough back there in the zone. Gillian not going to stop that one. Reed Keeler. Reed the senior. So the seniors leading the charge here with Reed and Tyson Davison scoring both goals for the Wildcats. To give the Cats a 2-1 lead. It was Luca Chea, the junior, who gave the Bullets the lead in the first half off the PK. Cats coming back now. See if they can hang on to the lead. 15-55 left to go here in the game. There's a golden opportunity that Max knows he'd like to have that one back. Max Clark. Yeah, Tyler kind of right where he wanted him. Just couldn't quite get the foot that he wanted on that shot. Missed play by the defense. Up there to capitalize. And go! Tyson Davison, his second of the game on the misplay. And that's like the first misplay that I have seen this, this Bullets defense have. That gives T Tyson two. Cats up 3-1 now. 15-10 left to go in the game. Tyson with two. Reed with one. Chair still the lone scorer for the Bullets. And once again, that's that's been a, a rare, we've seen a couple of them, but a rare misplay 
on the Bullets defense. They've played really strong back there, but Cats just really put the pressure on here so far in this second half of the second half, we'll call it. Cats continue to pour it on. Elby trying to get it across. Bullets desperate to get something in here, trying to equal it up things. Shot on high. Not a high percentage shot right there, as Coach Harry would say. Low and to the side. Revard, go kick. Rosenthal gets it up. Jaden Baker trying to get the turn against Albie. And we're going to have a white throw. <laughs> Try and keep this clock running. Some rather ominous black clouds coming up over this here. Chipped out of bounds. That's a Wyatt Magnet, the enforcer. For the bullets. Drops it in and out. Bullets on the throw. And that is Nick Badger that has to go off the side of his foot. Throw in Fenton Meyer, sophomore, with the Cats. Cody Trudeau looking to settle, turn, get a shot on across. Oh! Reed almost had a second. I don't think there would have been much Gillian could have done with that. The X-Man wants to get in on the scoring action. Fairfax, goal kick. Up. Let's. We'll let again. Nice play. Nice foot by Badger to get that one up here. Bullets trying to get the quick throw in, but the horn had sounded. Bullets want the sub. Peter Mitchell going off. Throwing bullets. Throw in Wallette. X Man can't come down with it, keep it in. Bullets trying to move quickly here. Down two. 10.44 left. Revard, save. Keeler. All goes by. Trudeau, he's a speedster. To 
the side by Wyatt Magnet. That'll be a goal kick. Nine forty-five left to go in the game. Once again, this is Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim Kelty on camera. Hazen Varsity Boys home opener. The girls did have their home opener Labor Day weekend. It was that Labor Day Saturday, so they're going to be in action. Uh, I think Coach Harry said Monday against PA here at home. That'll be their second home game. Sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics and Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. Cats fell behind one zip in the first half, courtesy of the Luca Chair penalty kick. Have come back to take a 3-1 lead off of two goals by Tyson Davison and a goal by Reed Keeler. Give them the 3-1 lead. 8.55 left to go in the game. Gillian save with the scoop. Punting into the wind. And wow. This was a repeat from last year. Bear hug by Reese Decker. These two teams have a little bit of a history going, and they kind of uh, play. Let's say play hard. Stay up, White. Stay up, some. Braden, stay up a little bit. Stay up. Don't go fall back so far. The command. Clock ticket. Mitch it. Kick. Ball down. Save. Gillian. Kind of surprised the Bullets aren't playing with a slight more sense of urgency with 7.30 left to go in a game down two. But it is what it is. Tell you just a suggestion from this announcer. I think uh, anybody who wants to set up on the sideline, I'll call out our crowd as well. Who wants to set up on the sideline, an armchair quarterback referees. I'm sure the Vermont Principals Association would welcome them into a referee clinic and throw on a yellow jersey and go down there and call a game. I think you would find it is a lot different being down there on the field as opposed to sitting in your chair. In my humble opinion. Try and get something in here with 6.20 left to go in the match. Subs come in. Cats on the throw in on the far side. Turn around, White! <laughs> Baker looking to settle. Can't quite get it. Well, that's a nice move to get the ball back. Riker. Riker the striker. Once again, good to see Riker out on the field. He was down for a long time in the first half. He's back. Nick Badger working hard. The X Man down. Tyson, 
450. Left. Ball skitters over. Keeler just wide. Just wide. That would have been the icing on the cake right there. been a throw-in machine today for the Cats. Spinner drops down the middle of the field. X-Man trying to make something happen here. Matthew there as well. Here's Albie looking ahead. Matthew going ahead. Max Clark here on the near side. There's some room. Baker. Side out with authority by Riker Willets. Bullets. Cats clear out up ahead. Chair gives chase, he'll boot it off. Three minutes left, and I got a feeling once this game ends, well, it's not quite as dark and ominous as it was, but I will give our sponsors one more readout here. We want to thank uh, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, Calderwood Insurance, for sponsoring the game today. Thank Jim Kelty for coming in on camera. Once again, this is the only home game this week. Home opener for the boys. The girls had their home opener this past Saturday. Lost a tough one to Oxbow here at Hudson Fields. They will have their second game Monday. Here at Hudson Fields against the People's Academy Wolves. And then uh, the boys have a game as well. There's three games next week. Girls will go on the road. Boys will go on the road. The girls go on the road. End of this week right up to play the uh, Fairfax Bullets girls team up there in uh, Fairfax. Dukeshire working against, that is Max Fortman, a freshman for the Cats. Matthew can't come down with that one. 155 left to go in the game. Red throw. Here comes Willette. I think Riker could probably throw it and go from here. Willette. On the field. Keeler right there. Ball down. Grabbed by Gillian. High punt. Good job, Dano. One minute left to go in the game. One minute. Your Hazen Union Wildcat boys. Looking like they're going to notch a win here. And their home opener. Barring something extremely miraculous. Tyler Rebar skies up to make the save. T-Rex, as we nicknamed him during the baseball season. 30 seconds, Tyler. Does anyone go off the side of his foot here on the near side? Trudeau trying to keep it in. Albie on the throw in. Looking across. Come on. Gonna have a kick, but then let's move really quick. That's gonna be your ball game. Burn 
Clark's going to put a shot on, go through, and that's the end of your game. And you're Hazen Union Wildcats behind uh, two goals by Tyson Davis and one goal by Reed Keeler. Put the Fairfax Bullets down in defeat today here from Hudson Fields. Hazen Union High School, Hartford 1, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Jim Kelty on camera. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.